Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Morning Leap Session. This is where we set up our trade plan for the day. We look at the structure of the market uh, from macro to micro, look at the trends in the different time frames, then drill down to our uh, trade levels and our targets and our hypothesis for the day. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder and uh, head moderator and trader here at Quantum Leap. Uh, Quantum Leap is a private trade group of retail traders. We've been around uh, in one form or another for about six years now. Uh, if you're interested in getting more information about uh, our live trade room, uh, just send me an email to uh, quantumleaptrading at gmail.com addressed to Doug McKay. Before we get going, we do have to uh, get the disclaimer done. This information is for the purpose of educating members who want to expand the knowledge of the business trading. It's not for trading or investment advice. You only you are responsible for trades or investment decisions you make. Trading futures or any instrument involves risk loss. Please consider carefully whether futures or options are appropriate to financial situation. Only risk capital should be used with trading futures or options. Investors could lose more than initial investment. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results and any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes. Please trade your own trade plan and your own risk uh, metrics. All right, take a quick look at the news. Uh, we had Canadian uh, trade balance and U.S. trade balance at 8.30. Uh, uh, K was expected at uh, 42.5 for the U.S., came in at 41.9, uh, expected 2 point, minus 2.6, uh, came in at minus 3.3 in Canadian. Uh, the market didn't really make any major move off of that. Uh, next news, uh, we've got Great Britain at 10 o'clock, NYSER GDP estimate, um, and then we've got the USD jolts jobs and uh, IVD tip economic optimism uh, all at 10 o'clock Eastern. So uh, keep an eye on that at uh, uh, the first half hour of trading. All right, uh, taking a look at yesterday, we were looking for yesterday, we had a huge gap down on the, uh, on the weekend uh, with the Greece uh, referendum and the no vote. Uh, we were looking for a uh, rotational day. Uh, I thought we'd actually get rotation uh, with a little bit of downside bias unless we got back above that uh, 64. Um, we did get above 64 poked up to uh, 70.50, didn't quite get to our target, 71. Then the sellers stepped in and we rolled over most of the uh, afternoon until they came back down into that uh, 2050 area. Didn't quite get to the 49 and a quarter like we did in the morning. I thought we'd actually end up with a neutral day when we came down here and traded this, but they rallied it into the close and uh, brought it all the way back up uh, and closed at uh, 2068.75. So 2068.75 is becoming a very important number to us uh, because not only is it uh, uh, Hey, sorry, we close at 2064. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at Monday sheet. We uh, closed at 2064.50, which is again important because it's right at the value area low from uh, the prior day, and it's also the value area high from yesterday. The other important number is at 2068.75. Uh, that was the close. On Thursday, it was the high and the close on Friday. Uh, so those 64s and 68s are going to be important levels for us uh, uh, this morning. Um, I put the, uh, the ES levels out into the trade room already. Um, this is something that I put out every day so that you have it. You can print it out and gives you all the levels I'm about to talk about now. Uh, I like to start my morning with a, uh, with a basic chart looking at uh, the trends from macro to micro. I use a 9 EMA and a 20 SMA. I'm looking for slope and separation and where the trend would be, uh, would be violated. You can see that we're losing a little slope. Uh, a little bit of separation, but very, just barely, we're holding the 9 EMA. The overall trend on the monthly is very strong. It does not get violated until we get down into the, the 1900s. Going to the weekly, we have a little bit of a different story. We, uh, we have weakness showing in the weekly. We've rolled over. We have the last two weeks, uh, this week and last week, 
uh, trading below the 9 and the 20. We have an MA squeeze right now and likely to get across here if we stay below it and, uh, and possible a start of a trend down. Uh, so we've stopped the, the overall trend on the weekly and we do see some weakness coming in. On the daily, uh, you can see that we do have a start of a uh, a downward uh, trend. We have uh, slope and separation to the downside. Uh, we gapped down yesterday and then rallied all the way back, but we were failed to close above the 9 EMA. 9 EMA is sitting here at uh, 2073 and a quarter. Uh, and so far today, we've rejected it. Uh, so we are seeing the start of a downward trend. There is a naked cross up here at uh, 20. Uh, 98.75 on the daily. Keep in uh, mind that it is the daily, um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be taken out today, but it's something I will be watching and still believe that this, uh, this area up here between all the different uh, highs, uh, both in the September contract and the June contract, are still going to be retested and broken. Uh, we're just seeing a natural uh, rotation down right now to find buyers with more conviction. And we know we've got that measured move still uh, on this head and shoulder pattern. Um, so I'm still expecting uh, some, you know, some downside uh, before we go back up. That may not be the case, but it's something that I'm watching. Going down to the uh, intraday to see if there's trends coming into this market. Um, you can see for, since the gap down on Monday, uh, we've just been steadily, uh, you know, uh, trading up. Uh, we're getting a very little tiny bit of, uh, of slope and separation. We ha do have a naked cross on the four hour. I'm going to pay attention to at uh, 2065. So I'm just writing these down for myself because I was late getting uh, to my desk this morning. And then going to the 30-minute, 30 30-minute uh, 30 tells a different story. It's got a bit of a downward trend. We were trending up, created a uh, technical gap with the Mr. Sneaky, actually two of them in a row. And then we rolled over and we're trading below the 9 and the 20. And we do have slope and separation uh, to the downside. There's a naked cross at 2072.75 on the 30 minute. And then just going down to the 15 minute. I, don't, I usually skip the 15 minute, but I want to get the naked cross. No naked cross on the 15 minute. It was taken out right here. Um, but we do have that one below us down here at 20.58.50. Naked crosses I use for targets, not for entries. I'm, I'm looking for, if I'm getting into a trade, I'm looking for where the market's likely to go. I'm looking for these naked crosses because they are very, 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 very rarely left alone. And you can go and uh, sh prove that out for yourself. Uh, on the five minute, you know, we rolled over after going and making those uh, highs overnight up at uh, 2078. We've rolled over and we've been trending down all night. Although we're starting to find some support here, we are trading below the nine and the 20, but we've lost some slope and separation. Uh, you know, if we get above the uh, 2068. Uh, uh, and a quarter, then we're looking uh, to violate the downward trend and possibly start a upward trend. So let's take a look at the big picture structure. I always like to look at that. You know, we've been talking about this key line in the sand. It doesn't change. It is right here at that 2059.75. Uh, it is the value area low of the micro composite that goes from February to now. We've been in this balance. Uh, maturing this auction uh, inside of value. But if we get below this level again, uh, you know, we're looking for continued price discovery lower. First target below is the uh, six-day microcomposite VPOC here at 5750. Uh, and then you've got the 5150-52 uh, area. And then below 49, you've got targets at 45 and a quarter, 42 and 37 and really nothing's uh, you know 
big down here. It's pretty blunt, and you know, once we get below that 20, 36, 75, all the way down into that 19, uh, which would be the lower level in this distribution zone between 59, 75, and uh, 19, and then uh, you know, the major target below us still, uh, which is the microcomposite VPOC from the distribution zone of the long-term uh, microcomposite that runs from October through to February, um, and that's the next balance area. I expect us to come down and test uh, down here at this uh, 2011.50. We still have the measured move on the head and shoulder pattern down to the 19. All right, so let's take a look at overnight and start moving our uh, numbers over and put our levels into our chart and look at what we're expecting uh, today. <coughs> overnight high, 78. Overnight low, 64.50. That was also our uh, close and our value area high. And currently our VPOC, now we could keep, we could come down and make uh, another uh, lower low in the Globex, so we have to keep an eye on that. Uh, our uh, overnight VPOC, 2068.75, right at that, uh, yeah, that key area of the high, the close, uh, on Friday and the close on Thursday it is now our VPOC as well. You can see why those two levels are going to be extremely important. And then we have a LVN overnight, uh, which is right near that 71 CHVN. So uh, that's going to be a key line for us as well, 2071. 75 LVN in the Globex. I'm going to put that in. And the reason I'm going to put that in is, uh, and then we've got the upper distribution, uh, 74 and a quarter HVN. All right, so let me bring this down, expand this out so we can see these levels. You can see that when we came up here, we tried to hold. We tried to hold value here at 69.75, which is right near the high uh, from yesterday, and right near the LVN. I'm going to be using this 71.75 between 70.50 and 71.75. I'm going to be using that as a key trade level. If we break above that, then I'm looking for us to go up and uh, and test the 75.50 again. The 75.50 is the dominant uh, CHVN in this distribution zone between 82.50 and uh, 59, but it's also uh, just below a former mic, uh, microcomposite VPOC. So that's my f main target above. And then above uh, 75, we have the overnight high as our next target at uh, 78. And then just above that, there's this uh, 79.75 CLVN. And uh, you know, above that, we've got our target, which is 81 and a quarter. The FOMC at 84, at 85.50. That's a uh, half. Um, a half gap fill from uh, the gap that we uh, left earlier, not Friday's gap, but uh, actually, uh, I'll show you in a second. Let me just edit this. <coughs> this is the uh, half gap fill from this gap right here. Uh, so looking for that to be tested. And then the next big target above is going to be this 87.50. And I don't know 
why it does this. It's not supposed to save those every time. It should just be target. Uh, 8750, and then above that, you've got 8950 as a CLVN and some possible uh, resistance. Then the big, big, big target above us is still up here at 9350, uh, 9375. 9375 is the most traded price for the micro composite VPOC going back to the beginning of February. And then you've got the naked close at this half gap close at 9575. Uh, so lots of targets still above us, but right now we're uh, still seeing some weakness. If we open right here, um, we're going to open outside of value, but inside of range. So we're going to have to pay attention on the open of what our uh, open auction clues are to give us an indication on whether or not we get continued price discovery above. 64 is going to be my key line uh, to trade off of today, 64.50. Uh, I'm looking for them to uh, probably make a lower, uh, a, a lower Globex low in the next few minutes. It looks like they're going to come down and test the 63 and a quarter. And then we'll open up inside a range and inside a value. But anything above the valuary high at 64, I'm looking to get long into that 68.75. And that is my uh, first target above there. Um, I'm going to use 68 and a quarter um, simply because that's the, uh, the CLVN. Let me just show that to you. 68 and a quarter, and I can front run uh, that 68.75. Just above, you got 69.50, where we tried to hold value, and then all those closes right there at 68. And then above 70, you know the story. Below 64.50, uh, which is, you know, we're testing that right now. The first target is 62, and then the big key line for uh, a lower uh, rotation today is this uh, 20. 60 to 2059. I'm actually going to use 5975, but you've got the midpoint, you've got the VWAP, and uh, you know a break below that. The first target below is that 5750, with the six-day microcomposite VPOC, or the most traded price in the last uh, week. And then continue looking. I'd be looking for continuation down uh, into this uh, value area low here at uh, 2054 and the year open. Remember, the year open is 2055. So that's going to become a pivotal spot for us again uh, today. They tried to break through it uh, yesterday and they couldn't close below it. And they rallied, the, you know, the, uh, the buyers uh, took control and kept us in a bullish uh, year. Uh, if we get back below it again, uh, I'm thinking we're probably going to get that lower price discovery. Um, the target below 54 is going to be 51.75, the open. It's also uh, just above this uh, CHVN and former microcomposite VPOC uh, at 51.75. It's also just below the, the six-day microcomposite value area low here at 52 and a quarter. So I'm going to extend this. Okay, and I'm actually uh, going to change this from a target to also uh, a trade area. A trade area is a target, but it's an also an area we're all looked to add on because if we break below that 51.75, then we're below the 52 and we're outside of value. We're below value in the micro composite, and I'd be looking for them to go take out this, uh, this 49. And then below 49, it's pretty clear, 45.50. And then the next big target below is going to be this 42, uh, is it 42 and a quarter or 42.50? It is 42 and a quarter. And again, that's a former microcomposite. It's still a naked microcomposite VPOC. And then below that, we've got 37.75, uh, the overnight low from, uh, from the gap down, 
uh, at 34 and a quarter, and then below there, 30, 25, 26, 75, 24, 75, and then uh, the measured move at 19, the naked gap, uh, the naked close, I should say, here at 15 and a quarter, and then our our big extended target below down at 2011 and a quarter. I don't think we're going to get down there today. Uh, <coughs> believe it or not, uh, I'm looking for another rotational day. I think we're probably going to get stuck in the wicks here between you know, this distribution zone from 74 and a quarter to 59.75. Uh, we've got a lot of unauctioned territory here. They're starting to mature uh, the this double distribution between 71 and 66, and one of them is going to be the dominant of the two before we leave this area for good. Okay, take a quick look at the uh, the uh, Keltner. You can see that the uh, center line is at the overnight VPOC at 68. Uh, 50, 68, 75. Above that, we've got the 24-hour VWAP at 71 and a quarter. That's right at that CHVN 71. And then a move up to test the upper Keltner is going to take us up to that CLVN at 74 and a quarter uh, and test the uh, the main target above at uh, 75, 50 um, area. Um, if we stay below, uh, move down to the lower Keltner channel, it's going to take us down to that 63, 62, likely take out that uh, naked VPOC from yesterday. All right, uh, take a quick look at gold. Gold, I've been saying, continued weakness. You can see that uh, we're testing this uh, longer-term microcomposite VPOCs range low. Uh, sorry, microcomposites range low. We've broken below that value that I was talking about yesterday in that key CLVN at 1161.70. If we stay below value, okay, for the last four days, uh, I'm expecting a break below this 55.80 and then a move down with the first target being 51.60, but I'm really watching this uh, 46.90, uh, possibly even 44.90 today. Um, if we get back above the 61.90, uh, then I'm you know, looking for a rotation back up into balance in around the 67, 68 area. I am going to trade this this morning. Uh, I like I liked this breakout trade to the downside, uh, and I like the rejection if we get above the 61.80. In fact, I'll look at the 61. When we get to 61.80, I'll be looking at whether or not we see responsive sellers uh, and uh, and re uh, you know reject the value that we were in, and then look for continuation lower, and then look to do an add on at 1158.80. I'm thinking I might be able to get a uh, swing trade on in gold down to my main target below, which is down here at 1128 area. Um, if we get uh, back inside, then I'm looking for a rotation back up into balance. Okay, pick up some sellers. Uh, to see if we can make the breakout, but it's looking pretty weak uh, this morning, and uh, I, you know, we could see some continuation once we get into the RTH. So that's going to complete our morning pre-market session. I'm going to take a quick break, uh, watch to see if we put a uh, a new uh, low in uh, for the Globex before we get into the RTH. Uh, finding some responsive buying right now at this. Uh, value area high, and we bounced uh, you know, a back up into 66, this balance. Uh, that's what we're, I uh, have us as in balance is at 66 right now. All right. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.